He helped the world fight infectious disease and won a Nobel Prize for his discovery. Alexander Fleming is responsible for the wonder drug of the 20th century, penicillin. Born in 1881 in Lockfield Air, Scottish doctor Alexander Fleming's historic work has seen diseases like scarlet fever and diphtheria wiped off the medical map. A researcher in the area of antiseptics and antibacterial substances, Fleming was known for being disorganized. But in 1928, when he returned from holidays, his untidiness would lead him to what some people have called a medical miracle and the most remarkable antibiotic the world had ever seen. Fleming found his bacteria specimens left out over his break were growing mold. He had been working with Staphylococcus bacteria and noticed that there was a bacteria-free circle around the mold growth. Investigating further, Fleming found a substance in the mold that prevented growth of the bacteria. Even when it was diluted 800 times, he called it penicillin. Fleming found that penicillin was non-toxic, but that it could inhibit the growth of many types of disease-causing bacteria. One of the interesting aspects about the story of penicillin is how it's not just about scientists, but also about how the general public reacted to a drug which was not just a bit better than anything else, but much better than anything else, and made diseases which had hitherto been terribly feared quite manageable. Whether we're talking about pneumonia, syphilis, gonorrhea, a whole range of infections from war wounds, and all these gave people a sense that we could live in a better world than in the 1930s. And as the post-war era came, the time of the National Health Service, a time of full employment, penicillin seemed to represent that much better world. Fleming's first wife died in 1949. Their son, Robert, became a general medical practitioner. Fleming married Greek doctor Amalia Kutsuri Vurakas in 1953. Fleming was knighted in 1944 but remained modest about his part in the development of penicillin. And he praised Ernst Chain and Howard Florey for transforming the laboratory curiosity into a practical drug. Fleming shared the Nobel Prize for Medicine in 1945 with Chain and Florey, who both carried Fleming's basic discovery further in the production of penicillin. Penicillin is made by a microorganism, by a mold. And the, once the idea had caught on during the war that you could make a re get find really powerful medicines from the products of microorganisms, scientists started looking very widely, and particularly in organisms found in the soil. And very quickly, a whole range of drugs, we think of the teromycin, oreomycin, which are variants of tetracycline and then tetracycline itself, streptomycin used in tuberculosis, and by the early 1950s, a whole range of antibiotics with different properties able to attack a whole range of diseases were available. Fleming's accidental discovery and isolation of penicillin in September 1928 marked the start of modern antibiotics. Fleming also discovered very early that bacteria developed antibiotic resistance whenever too little penicillin was used or when it was used for too short a period. Fleming's discovery has spawned a huge pharmaceutical industry, churning out synthetic penicillins that have conquered some of our most deadly infections. Sir Alexander Fleming's discovery of penicillin has changed the world of modern medicine by introducing the age of useful antibiotics. Penicillin has saved and is still saving millions of people around the world.